And Shaik no Toru. Shaik no Toru means guy. He's actually from Japan. Um, this is his second, his actually third debut in the UFN Pentagon. And this is a uh, Geo Toy 504's first appearance. So I look forward to seeing his performance. Now I feel like there's a little bit of sabotage going on with Shaik no Toru. Because if you look at his past masters in the Pentagon, they will all been terrible, terrible matchups. And yet again, he's going against the Chun Li. But we'll, he says he likes playing those matchups that are bad for him. So maybe he has some technology that the U.S. hasn't seen yet. Him being from Japan, but let's just see if he can take it out. Because I know Toy knows this matchup, so it should definitely be some good matches heading our way. Yeah, definitely. Um, Shike is actually he's been one of my 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 star players. I love having Shike in my lobby. You know, uh, he hasn't done so well in the in the Pentagon, but you know, in the endless lobby, I do stream a 24/7 lobby, and he comes in and he just wrecks shop on everybody. You know, win streaks out the ass. Anyways, um, I guess I need to go ahead and ready up so I can skip. But um, yeah, Toy 504 is no chump though. He actually hails from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I've actually met him once at a Arc 4 tournament. He's he's pretty good. It's pretty free to my Fei Long though. I will have to say that. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see how this match goes. I actually have my, I have I, I see this match going 5-4, but I think it's going to be in Shike's favor. Shike's actually a very very smart player and he's very patient. Um, Toy is more of a rushdown player and he likes to hit a lot of buttons. I think Shike can get past that though. So let's see how this matchup actually turns out. Um, on paper, how does this matchup look like, Redman? On paper, this matchup is definitely in Chun's favor. But right now, I'm like, fuck that. Let's go, Shite. Shout out to the guy players. Shout out to R4. Shout out to Step Your Game Up. Shout out to Geta, even though he switches Angi to the dark side. So <laughs> I want everyone to get hype. Type 1 if you think Shite Natoro is going to take this. Type 2 if you think Toy 504 is going to take this. Let's get ready for some good matches. Everybody be sure to uh, tweet this out. Let's get some more viewers in here. Okay, let's go. Match number one. Now, Shaq is going to have to play this play chain because Chun Li definitely wins the normal game. So, let's see how he maneuvers right now. Gets the jump okay, in, goes to the nice throw. Nice tech. tech. Yo, let's count the neutral jumps. From Toy. Okay, we got a raw shoulder to push in the corner. Now, this is where a guy definitely wants to be in this matchup is to get Chun Li in the corner. He wants to stay away from those straight jump up elbows because her hitboxes on her crouching moves does get under that and she gets a free punish. Okay. Looks like Shike knows what he's doing. He has it trapped in the corner. Okay, and Toy dropping the link right there. Too far out to, com to complete it. Oh, just a raw jump. Shike landing his combos. He was actually, I saw he was in training mode uh, prior to this match, so he's definitely been practicing his combos and it's paying off. Yeah, it looks like he's Unsafe for, okay. slide. Okay, it looks like Toy's going in now. Oh, just... Oh, okay, he's two EX spinning birds in a row to get out of that pressure. But now he has no meter. Okay, nice anti air from Toy. You see those normals that work, since the guy has such a floaty jump in, it's real easy for Chun players to be able to tell when to use that anti air. Okay, but it looks like... Throws them in the corner. Shark has them in the corner. Going for those counter hit setups, he has him in the corner, this is bad for Chun-Li. Guy can do a lot of damage here. Shite needs to be patient though, and not jump in. Okay, he can actually finish him with one combo here. Safe jump setup? No. Oh, no, no. no. It looks like it was yeah. a safe jump setup. Maybe he was blocking the wrong way though. It looked it looked pretty close. Like, I don't know. Wow, you have to be real careful 
jumping in on Chun-Li when she has any need. Okay, but it looks like guy has her in the corner already in the beginning of the round. Good nice neutral jump, nice. Toy. Right, miss spacing his uh his standing light punches there. Nice oh, uh nice see. read by Toy. And uh Shike is now in the corner. This is not a good spot. He tries to EX this... run out. Okay, but Toy has two meters, so he kinda has a safe go. So he can kinda just turtle it out and make guy have to commit to something and punish him for. But it looks like Shike has the patience to be able to bait those EX birds to be able to punish him. Oh, this is it! Oh nice, this could be it. Alright, and uh, looks like Shike's gonna take game one. Good stuff from Shike. Great stuff from Shike. Very good. That's what I love to see. Go. Guy for the win. Shike takes the lead 1 0. Yeah, no, uh, Toy was actually saying he was going to take this match pretty free, so... I think Shike's beating him in the footsie game. I think Shike's just making a couple of mistakes, and he's eating big damage for it. So if he can clean up his mistakes, I think he can take this pretty easily. Alright, people are saying the commentary is ahead of the match. Um, I'm looking on two screens, so I'm going to try to look on the other screen, which is actually what's on my computer and I'll try to commentate off of that. That should sync it, so sorry for those problems you guys are having with that. Alright guys. Nice anti-air. Standing medium punch to keep a uh, guy out. Guy just kind of playing patient. Nice, doesn't hit a button that time on the jump in. Safe jump, okay. Now that standing uh, roundhouse is actually a launcher, so it, 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 it puts Toy in a juggle state. Okay, Toy doing a good job of keeping Guy out this time. Yeah, now, now this looks more like how the mashup goes. If Chun Li plays extremely lame, it's not much a guy player can do unless he gets her in the corner early. Nice, nice reaction to that mashed EX tattoo from Shite. Alright, now so, one thing Shite needs to, to learn is that Toy likes to backdash. He will mash the hell of that backdash and as well as that crouch tech, so he needs to watch those things. I think he can learn. Oh, the Catching nice with the second combo. Hit. Oh, Toy's going in now. Okay. Now he, Toy just doesn't give a fuck anymore. He's just gonna do it. Okay, three EX <laughs> bird kicks. Four EX bird kicks. Use every bar. Wow. Okay, Shike has him pushed in the corner. Oh, that is the Shike special. Wow. Nice job from Shike. Is that going to take the round? No, he has a pixel left. Nice. Very good job from Shike. He would have done Nice. Hit confirms shoulder, in the shoulder. Toy would have been able to match out of that with EX spinning bird kick. So he had to use that meter, but it paid off because he was there for the chip down. Oh, definitely. And he's still coming into this round with three bars of meter. So that was definitely where he good, good play by Shike. He needs to block those overheads. Or focus them, actually. But Toy has enough meter to where he can cancel those and uh, actually make focus whiff, and then he can get a big punish off of that. So Shite needs to watch that as well. Okay, he's getting beat by a spinning bird. Okay, it looks like 
Toy is gonna play a little bit more patient now than last round. Oh, nice jump in roundhouse. No, that was not uh that was not good. Missing his Okay, links. but Shike has Toy push the corner again. Oh, this looks like it might be it. Yep. Alright, looks like uh it's Toy's gonna take game two. Toy was a little bit more aggressive starting in the, in, in the beginning of that match, but I, I see that he adjusted and realized that if he just paced himself more and played a little bit further back, he'd be able to out damage him based off just pokes and punishing what guy has to do to try to get in at any point. So a good adjustment from Toy. Looks like we have a good match on our hand. And guys, please type and let me know if, if you guys are still experiencing any issues with the commentary being someone ahead of what the streamers are seeing. Let us know so we can try our best to work it out. Yeah, I think your okay, commentary is a little heavy. Yeah. I think it's mainly because of my capture card, the hop hog, it's, it delays the video from when it actually captures, so my... Just a little. Yeah, it's being delayed by like about a little under a second, so that's a second or two, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Alright guys, uh, your fight card brought to you by our sponsors. Okay, reads the uh, sweep after the combo miss. Uh, he saw that he missed it that first time, so he went for the ultra, knowing whether or not if he, if he missed it, he was gonna land it. So good stuff by Shike. Actually, can make think uh, Toy think twice about trying to hit that link again. Yeah, he just goes for the meter, doesn't even want to give Chun Li a chance to to come back. Where'd he go? Catches that back dash with the uh, air command throw. Safe jump. Okay, goes for another empty jump throw again. Ultra, no, saves it. Nice getting out of there with the uh, Bushin flip. Walks straight into that. That does so much damage, and to think that that was nerfed. Alright, Chun has no meter, he's gonna take advantage of this. Oh, yes! Good stuff from Shike. Uh, you can definitely tell that I'm favoring Shike in this matchup. Let's fucking go, Shike. Let's fucking go. And Guy actually considered one of the more low tier characters in the game. You know, people say that he does not stand a chance to win tournaments. I talked to Shike, you know, he's he will stand by Guy and this is his character. You know, he has studied under some great Japanese players. He lived in Japan, so he he definitely knows his stuff. He knows his matchups. Looks like he knows the Chun Li matchup at least pretty decently. Maybe he's it looks like he's kinda slow to getting used to Toy's playstyle, but so I said he was going to 5-0 Shike, and it's 2-1 Shike right now, so... Anyway, shout outs to all the new viewers out there, guys. If you are enjoying this channel and you are enjoying this event, we do this every Monday, Ultimate Fight Night Battle in the Pentagon. Some of 
you'll see tons and tons of top players uh, and a lot of up-and-coming new players that are also very skillful that need to get their names out. They will be fighting in the Panda.